In this video, I will give a brief overview on how to use TextBlob to perform some common NLP tasks. TextBlob is currently one of the most popular NLP packages with over 7,700 stars on GitHub and over 10 million downloads. And in this video, I will cover how to use TextBlob to perform spell correction, text classification, tokenization, and more. So let's get right to it. Here I have a basic Google Colab open up so uh, we can install TextBlob as it is a PyPy package by typing pip install TextBlob like so and hitting run. Let's discuss how to use TextBlob to perform spell checking. So given text that's spelled incorrectly, outputting text that is spelled correctly. Now from TextBlob, we can import a class called TextBlob and hit run. From here, we can use this newly imported object to create a class and we'll provide it with the text I spelt this wrong. Okay, so I have to spell a few words wrong. Let's just make sure this is spelt wrong. Okay, and we will create an object called blob and let's hit run. And from here, we can perform spell correction with one line of code by calling blob.correct and hit run. And there we go, it is a new blob, but this time it is spelt correctly. We can save it into another object called blob2 and hit run. And if you wish to use a string instead of a text blob object, you can simply call blob2.string and hit run. You can use text blob to perform text classification. It has a built-in model that performs sentiment analysis. So we'll start off by explaining sentiment analysis and then we'll move on to briefly explaining how to train a model using custom data. So let's give an example of positive text. So we'll create a new text blob that we'll call pause blob for a positive blob. And we'll set it equal to text blob and let's enter something positive, how about I really enjoy NLP, okay? And hit run. And from here, we can detect the sentiment with one line of code by calling posblob.sentiment.polarity and hit run. And this returns a score between negative one for being really negative to positive one for being really positive. So if we change this to I really hate NLP, what do you think it's going to be? Let's hit run again. And it is minus 0.8, so this is very negative. Quick pause, I just created a full course on TextBlob that covers everything in this video, plus more, and in a lot more depth. I've included a link down below that automatically applies a coupon, so I'm looking forward to seeing you in the course. Now let's discuss training your own custom model. So here's a little toy example that only has two training cases. Of course, typically you want to use a lot more than two training cases, but regardless, let's get right to explaining it. So we have a list of tuples and within each tuple, we have two indexes where the first one contains a string with the actual case data and the second one contains the label and also in the form of a string. Let's hit run. And then from text blob dot classifiers, we want to import naive Bayes classifier, which is a probabilistic model and let's hit run. From here, we can create a classifier that we'll name classifier and we'll create it using this newly imported class. And we will also provide the training data right to it. And when we hit run, an error will occur, but I'll explain why. Text blob is built on top of a package called NLTK. And that means sometimes we have to install special resources from NLTK when we want to use it. And since text blob is built on top of NLTK, we do not have to pip install it. And we can just directly import NLTK like so. And whenever there's an error, TextBlob always does a very clear job at explaining what exactly you have to do. So here is just two lines of code. Let's hit run and hit run again. There we go, the model just trained. We can now make a prediction with one line of code. So we'll copy the classifier and call classify and then add text. So how about, wow, that place was great. Okay, hit run and we get positive. Now let's discuss tokenization. Given a string, you might want to separate its characters by word, sentence, or white space. And that's very easy to accomplish using text blob. I just created a text blob that contains the text. Text blob is built on top of NLTK. It is one of the most popular NLP frameworks. So from here, we can generate a list of words by calling blob3.words. And what we get, is a word list. So this is a list, but each index contains a object of type word, which is similar to a string, but contains more functionality. Check out my latest course for more information. And similarly, we can do the same, but instead of calling words, we can call sentences 
and hit run and we get a list of sentences. And sentence objects, again, are similar to strings but contain more functionality. Finally, let's discuss how to get the definition of a word or in some cases, definitions as one word can have multiple meanings. So from text blob, we're going to import word and hit run. And then with an LTK, we're going to download a resource called WordNet. And in my course, I have an entire section on this. And just to explain it briefly, it's a lexical database that contains the relationships between words. So for example, using it, you can find the synonyms for a word. So let's hit run and create a word. Let's create a very simple word. We'll copy the class here and we will provide the word apple as the only positional input. We'll save it into an object called word and hit run. And from here, we can easily access the definitions by calling word dot definitions and hitting run and we get two different definitions for apple if you made it this far in the video chances are you want to learn more so again i created a full course on text blob there's a link in the description below and i hope to see you there and stay happy everyone